Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is all about our brows, okay? <clears throat> you know that brows are the most important feature, one of the most important features, if not the, on the face. Because what it really does is it helps to frame your face so then you can build your makeup how you want it to look and that the brows just supports the whole structure and frame of the face. Now for me personally, I was born with not very much brow going on in this area. If I brush it backwards, there's actually no brow in there. So having the right brow product is really important to me in order um, that I don't have that um, gap there. I'm not interested in microblading, I'm not interested in tattooing, I'm happy to just apply um, my brow product um, every single day to be honest. So I was sent um, very kindly by HD Brows who are basically the queen of brows. Um, they do loads of different products um, on their website um, and this is one of their newest ones which is called the HD Brows um, Pro Pencil. And I had seen it on, um, I'd seen it on Instagram and I was really, really intrigued because, and I'm gonna show you, it comes, it's a really, really tall pencil actually, so it doesn't last a long time. It comes looking like this. Hopefully this will focus in. And what, you want to do is you want to unravel it, use their special sharpener which I'm going to show you in a minute and basically if you can see have the point so that you can create these really really natural brush strokes in your hair. This is the HD Brows Pro Shaper that it came with and I have to say I may actually try doing an eyeliner with it as well because if I can get that point from an eyeliner and get that wing tip that would be wicked for a pencil. So this is the HD Brow Sharpener and what you do, I'm going to show you, you basically start unra unravelling it and I'm, I am new to it so I haven't exactly got um, the hang of it of how to do it but you take this off and you just start going round and round and round and round to get that first layer off near the tip. So that's how you get it a little bit longer and, and you carry on going to the next level. And what you do, and I'm gonna hoping, hoping this is going to show, you just use the blade here to create, can you see how, I'm gonna have to keep doing this, that's already starting to create the shape. I'm going to go to the other side now. I mean this, I, I generally, I think I may go into my eyeliner in a minute and see if it works. That creates the most insane point. Can you see that there? So that you can create, if I show you on my hand, little hairs and that's basically what you want to do can you see that on there okay it's a very very light color this one and you create all these little brush stroke hairs when you're applying it on your um on your eyes so on your eyes on your eyebrows so that one is the light brown this one is the black if you've got uh, really really black hair this one here is an ash colour, um, so a little bit more of the grey tone. I'm going to actually put the black one on here as well. I haven't obviously sharpened these, so it's not coming out as well. That's the black. And then this one is the dark brown, which I've already sharpened. So if I show you here, it's quite hard to do this backwards. You see these little brush stroke hairs. So those are the those are the colours on here. I'm just going to sharpen this a little bit more, and then 
show you how to apply it. Now, all I would say, and this is just me giving a completely honest review, is that really I should be the um, dark brown. But what I have found with the dark brown is it has quite a lot of red in it. So I think there needs to be another shade in between the dark brown and the black that has no red undertone and that really sort of matches my my hair colour. So I would like to see that come out um, with HD brows for me to give it that wow factor for colours. As the pencil goes, it's awesome, I love it. Um, but they, the colour just needs to get a little bit, um, the, the, it just needs to be a more perfect colour coming out. Now, I'm going to apply this in little brush strokes. You have, if you can hear noise behind, I'm really sorry, but next door are filling up their skip. So, um, that's what you can hear if you can hear a racket. And I'll always have a brush to apply, uh, to brush through, sorry, because if you've gone a little bit too heavy, it's really important to go through. I actually want to take this off a little bit as well and give it, get another layer going on, open another layer up. There we go. <laughs> it's quite satisfying to do. So that's what it looks like, nice and sharp. And I'm drawing little brush strokes on. Okay, and filling in any gaps. So you use the you use the slanted bit as if you're basically going in the direction of the hair to do your brows. And then fill in whatever's there. You don't want to be seeing the brush strokes though. So always go in and brush through to make it fluffier and to sort of, I can't think of the word, fade out any harsh lines. So that is the difference between my two brows using brow products. It's very, very powerful, um, the brow products. And to be fair, like, I know I was saying there is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a sort of ready, warm brown undertone to it. It's not bad on me at all. I think it looks really good. It's just, I'm used to a certain tone. So let's carry on on this side. Now, obviously I have a gap here. So I'm gonna draw little hairs. So just to fill it in, you see? And then always go in and brush through. I mean, I know a lot of you are not going to be bothered to do this in the morning, um, but this is how to sort of get perfect brows. This is just a daytime brow. If I'm going to perfect up for the evening, then I'll go in and highlight underneath and make it a bit crazy, honestly. I'm so sorry for the noise, the background noise. Not ideal, is it? Um, and then, really important in this area where I'm a little bit bald, can you see? I'm just going to go in and create those strokes in the direction that the hair is growing. See how that's filled in already? It's amazing. And then I'm just gonna follow the direction of the hair just to make it a wee bit thicker as we go down. Not too much. Um, a little gap there. And then I'm just gonna go in the direction of the hair. That's really important. In terms of how easy it is to use, I'd say it is easy to use. It's not as easy as my slanted um, brow pencil that I have from Anastasia and from Charlotte. This is the Charlotte one here. I'm just using the brush on the end. Um, the difference being, if you see, if I put it there, that's the difference between the two. Um, this is a lot thicker f to use in application. Um, so you have to be really, really precise or really sharpen it. Like you can really carry on sharpening it down to a point. Let's see. 
I think it's that is key is sharpening basically get that in that little hair in a little gap there and if you know if you follow your brush hairs your hair the direction your hair's growing you'll always get a really nice fluffy brow and don't forget your brows are um they're sisters they're not twins you'll always have like this brow grows up more that way that way is more rounded so and then if you want to um fix it and put some brow gel through it you can do so you can fix them in place um however you want but that's the that's the brows i'm going to take a little picture just to make sure it's even big big tip for you guys let's have a little look so i'm i need to go up a little bit more on the right hand side let's perfect that up so this side so saying this side is just grows very straight and this is more rounded so i'm going to create let's get my mirror and do it Okay, brush it through. Perfect. So that is the brows there. Um, I've actually done quite a strong brow, I haven't made it too fluffy, um, but very, very structured. Um, and to be honest, I think the colour the colour's okay. It's just it's not a perfect colour. Um, but it does what it needs to do. So I haven't tested it yet to see the longevity of it and see how long it lasts, especially in the heat. And it's like 24 degrees today. So it'll be interesting to see how long this lasts and whether I can use this Pro Pencil in my um, wedding kit. Uh, Cause obviously I need like 15 to 20 hours of wear, not 20 hours, but like 15, at least 15 hour wear from my um, eyebrow product, especially in the heat. So I'll test this out um, and I'll comment below and I'll let you know um, as I as I go on how how long this does last. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, brows to me is a, it's a huge game changer. If if you're unsure how to look after your brows and get a really good shape, go to a beauty salon somewhere that specialises in threading. I'm a big fan of threading. I do not like waxing. I think waxing is really not great because our eye area is so delicate and thin here threading will get you the most perfect shape and you may not get you know it may take you a couple of times till your um therapist um homes in on your brows and gets you where you need to be but once you've found your beauty salon and you found the therapist that like you know works for your brows don't let go of them ever <laughs> is basically my tip and then you can um you can have that upkeep at home um, have some tweezers at hand and, and look after them and get them threaded every sort of like six weeks I'd say um, and there we go really I hope you've enjoyed uh, my little review from HD Brows do go on their website and have a look at all the wonderful other products they've got on there as well and any comments um, please do ask below have a super day and I'll see you very soon